In 2008, there was a research done of the students of the people, the adults, around the globe by Oxford University. And they tried to find out what makes these students, the adults, a more effective adult citizen in the world. Their study showed that Children who are guided from childhood towards the biggest science of humanity called the spirituality, they automatically become less hyperactive, they're less restless, they do not throw tantrums, they're easy to take vitamins, go to temples or Sunday churches, and they also go to a dentist without a complaint. As they grow up, they become an adult who has more satisfying career. They are easy to learn to concentrate, focus on the power of their own ability. They have a more satisfying marriages and more satisfying at the end of their life. So this spirituality is what was not this workshop by sponsored by church or some temple. It was an Oxford study group which did it. And they talked about since 19th century, they've done a research. Since more than 108 years, 2008, this workshop was done. You learn now another eight years ahead. This is what the principles of our school philosophy too that introduce whichever religion you believe in, follow that. In the school teaching and learning, follow the ancient Indian Vedanta, which is not related to any god or any particular religion. It is talking about, basically, the supreme power is within the child. It's within the child itself. To guide them, telling them to live purely, live with purity and depend more on their own capabilities. In Belur Mat, which was started off by Swami Vivekananda, there was a new set of Britannica encyclopedia were bought. As you know, there used to be earlier 23 volumes and one of his disciples looking at the book in the library, he started to comment. He was having a session with Swamiji and he says, there are so many books that people cannot finish reading them. Looking at these books, Swamiji, it is only a good reference material, but reading all of them is just not humanly possible. Swamiji said, how do you say that? Now these disciples didn't know that Swamiji had already finished reading 10 of them in the last 7 days. He finished 10 volumes. So he said, I have finished the first 10. You can open any one of those 10 and ask me any question from any part of those. There was almost a 20-30 minutes of sessions and having satisfied then Swamiji is talking about that this is Vedanta. That calling for the supreme power called the willpower which is within you, learning to concentrate. He says, if I have to learn all over again, I will just learn to concentrate first. With the power of my mind then, I can pick up any subject, any topic, any learning and it will be a matter of piece of cake for me to deal with it. If you notice, when the children in your classroom, they concentrate, they automatically pick up so easily, they're bright-eyed, they're very uh, good in communication, conversations, anything that you can think about. And 
to make them concentrate, you have to make the topic in the classroom very interesting. If it is boring, 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 they will automatically lose their interest. So you notice that their concentration power, their willing to take on their willpower and focus it is the key is in your hand. And that was something to do with the workshop that you all had done it. So I would recommend the team that had gone ahead and done it, you will prepare in one of these coming weekends in the, the next few days, let the PYP work on this action plan so that the other teachers of the PYP, EYP can also follow it from it. And those who are in MYP and DP, you have a lot of materials which is available today with us as well as to the IB Forum as well as with Vedanta. Utilize them and make it your own. Once you make it your own, it will be very easy for you to make it to the children's own. After all these children who are growing up and doing well in the school, they're because of your product, isn't it? You all have heard that Maria Rahmani, she was one of the two chosen and recommended from our school, Kaif and Maria. And the UGC people have chosen her, only five students in the whole of the country, to be a part of the session of the judge panel for the students forum and the career counseling. In a whole of country, five students out of which one is from your student, it's a great honor. But you need to keep doing that. You need to keep on saying, what else, what else? Whenever you get a little time, like you had a Saturday and a Sunday, two days holiday, spend some time in investing in your own these two inches. Spend some time in developing that interest in spirituality. Spirituality is science. It is not some dogmasm or worshipping some idol. Spirituality is understanding that I am a supreme being and it is a science. Discovering truth of the world outside of you is called science, like forces of gravity or buoyancy. This is discovering truth outside of you. But discovering truth within you is called spirituality. So you reflect upon it, invest on it, because to work, to learn, is to earn. Earn what? Not money. Is to earn the utilizations of your full potential. Learn to do that. We are not utilizing more than 1-2%. As if Newton in his biography written by Clock Cable says, if I knew how to utilize more than 9-10% of my brain, I'll be somebody very great. So imagine, Isaac Newton is saying, I'm not using more than 9-10%. So obviously, the great masters in India have shown it to us again and again, that you could, you and I, if we start to make an effort, you will find that you will automatically become very good. It was very nice to see in the 15th of August, your MC, Ira, she went ahead and did the presentation entirely by heart and with a good training by the teachers. It is by you who's done that. Similarly, when you come down and do a presentation here, try and do it extempore. Try and recollect from the mind, make it from your own mind. You may have a piece of paper or a computer to refer to it, you may have a PowerPoint presentation, no problem. But learn to speak on your own. When you make it your own, you'll automatically find other people are, your children are picking it up from you. I wish you good luck. Keep smiling. Children are waiting for you. Thank you.